Hey, Nate. Hello, Amanda. I was trying to find a virtual background, but I can't find one, so. <laughs> well, how are you? It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Yay, where are you? In West Virginia. You are in West Virginia. No. I, won't, I won't start singing West Virginia. <laughs> anyway, it's but, good to connect up. Yeah, I'm going to head back on Saturday, I think, so. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. Well, that was too. Happen once before and it didn't happen, so. <laughs> Well, I will have, you have to give me that story. I won't share it with everybody. I know you're chatting with us uh, here for a few minutes on HR Florida. That's uh, just a few, uh, just over a little over a month away. So yeah. um, I appreciate you uh, serving as our ambassador this year. And and um, I was hoping to uh, pick your brain just a quick minute or two so we can share with our membership what's uh, what's happening. Sure. Yeah. Well, cool. I, I want to hear the story, though, about how you couldn't get back from West Virginia <laughs> when we get a chance. Um, no worries. So for everyone who may watch this, uh, Amanda's a long time uh, GoSharm board member in our communication space and uh, Sherm YPAC member, the uh, Young Professional Advisory Council, and then uh, also our HR Florida ambassador uh, this year. So um, again, Amanda, just a little over a month away, why should folks attend HR Florida? Well, as someone that has only ever been to an HR Florida state conference, I have to say it's probably one of the best state conferences that's around. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I don't know, I don't just say that because, you know, I feel that way, but I've heard a lot of other people say that as well. You know, you have the opportunity to choose from over 130 different sessions. You get to network with 2,000 people on a normal year. Um, there's expo. Um, vendors that you can talk to about services and there's things like that. The Sherm bookstores there. Um, you can earn Sherm certification credits. I think this year it's 16 credits um, for, you know, your Sherm certification or HRCI. Um, this year we're going to have some awesome keynote speakers, um, BJ Novak, Tyler Schultz, yeah. and Ellen Latham. And you also get an opportunity to participate um, in the annual 5k that they're doing this year supporting the um, Higher Heroes USA. So lots of great reasons to attend. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to, to just be there and, and see my friends and <laughs> that yeah. want to be there. <laughs> oh, you mentioned the 5k. I might have to volunteer to hand out water for that yep. one, but, uh, <laughs> but, but copy that. Yeah. All good stuff. I, I, you mentioned the, um, one of the best conferences. I, I, it is true that some, some Sherm representatives have come to this and said that, Hey, other state councils come to see how HR Florida does it because they, they put on such a good, good show. So, yeah. um, so in light of the pandemic, um, there have been some modifications to this year's programming. What, yeah. what does that look like? Yeah, so I've heard a lot, um, been listening to the conference team talking about what they've been doing. They've spent the last few months talking with the Gaylord Palms, with Marriott, you know, listening to make sure that they're following all of the standards set by like the government. Um, and right now, the safety and of all of the attendees is like the top priority. Um, Gaylord Palms actually has a commitment to cleanliness um, that you can read their statement on their website to see what they're doing. Um, the conference, the expo hall is going to be, um, the booths will be physically distanced. The room capacities will be reduced by approximately 50%. So, you know, I, I really truly feel that HR Florida is doing everything they possibly can to make sure that we, you know, stay safe, you know, if we choose to do the on-site version. Yeah, very good. And I guess folks can find more on the online scenarios on the website if they want to explore that. Um, being right here in our backyard, so uh, it's, it's part of GoSherm and the Greater Orlando Society for Human Resources Management. I, I feel like this is um, it's right here in our backyard. We need to be have a strong presence there uh, and registration and registrants and, and, and volunteers, that sort of thing. Um, can you, can, are there still volunteer opportunities, I guess is what I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm asking. And still registration yeah. available? Yeah, absolutely. So they'll be taking registrations up to the day. Okay. Um, they'll take registrations the day of. You can walk in and off the street and, and sign up. Um, but, you know, to learn more about the conference itself, whether you want to look at the online version, the on-site version, you can go to hrfloridaconference.org. Um, while you're on there, take a look. You can um, volunteer to sign up. There's lots of different opportunities for volunteering. Um, I've volunteered, I think, every year for the past few years. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can, when you get onto the website, I think it's under like attendee and then you drop down to volunteer. It'll show you all the different descriptions yeah. of what you can do and then you can sign up. Um, usually what they do is they get back in touch with you at the 1st of August to let you know what shifts they have available. 
um, for you and then you just confirm if those work for you. So everything Very you good. need to know. <laughs> so I have to ask, do you have a, a favorite memory from, from HR yeah. Florida over the years? Anything fun to share? Oh, man, I, I think most people would probably think the time that um, I got to do VIP for Florida or the time I got to meet Sean White. Um, I was even thinking about the time I was driving the golf cart around Falcon, um, Falcon Fire to help so I could help Crystal so she could take pictures. But, um, you know, those were fun memories. But really just being able to be there and spend time with some friends and, you know, seeing people that I might not always get to see except for at the HR Florida conference. So I think that's just when I go back and look at the pictures, that's I have so many pictures of just my friends <laughs> from all over. So. Yeah, it's funny. You make me uh, think of the networks, uh, the networking, the connections and things that get made. But also, I always seem to take away a, um, a best practice from how HR Florida handles a conference. And I, uh, there's ideas you can take back to our chapter meetings and, and the way we may do some things internally, too. So it's just always cool. Every year, there's just something more. So anyway, well, thank you for sharing that insight. Uh, I, um, was there anything else that we need to share? I, I'm, I'm so grateful for you and your role uh, as HR Florida ambassador. And it was a very unusual year uh, this year to serve in that role, but um, anything else? Yeah, to I think I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows there is an online option. If you're not comfortable um, being on site, um, it is the same cost of the on site, but you get the entire library of sessions. So where if we're on site, we may only get a chance to go see, you know, 15 sessions. By having the on site or the online version, you get access to 130 sessions. So you'll have that access for 90 days. Um, and I even saw that they're going to be sharing links to some of like to maybe where you can um, watch what's going on in the evening. Oh. So like you'll still get it kind of feel like you're, you're maybe there. Um, so, you know, this is an opportunity that if you are from out of state and you have always wanted to see what an HR Florida conference is like, you know, sign in and, and sign up for that too. So I think it's great that, you know, anybody at this point has an opportunity to attend the conference regardless. Very cool. Well, Amanda, that's it. Thanks for the few minutes on this. Absolutely. And um, yeah, I'll look forward to again, catching up sometime soon, maybe in August, I'll see you Sounds in good. person there and hear about this West Virginia story. But uh, <laughs> well, thanks. And uh, Gosher members will see you all in, uh, in August. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Nate. Bye. Bye.